Alrighty, for these problems here, we're going to be writing equations of a polynomial in standard form. Now, standard form is different than factored form. It takes a little bit more work to get it into standard form. But we're going to be using the zeros. And remember, the zeros are basically where it crosses the x-axis. So if it crosses the x-axis at 2, our factor is x minus 2. If it crosses at positive 3, it's x minus 3. And if it crosses at negative 4, it's x plus 4. So this is considered factored form. We want to write it in standard form. So what we're going to do is we're going to take these first couple, and you can do it in a few different ways. I'm just going to take the first couple and foil them together. So that will give me x squared, and then we have minus 3x, minus 2x gives me minus 5x, and then we have the plus 6. So that's that one. And what I like to do then is take that x plus 4, this guy right here, I like to actually write it in front. So I'm going to have x plus 4 out in front. And then I'm going to go ahead and distribute my x and distribute my 4. So when I distribute the x to each part, I'm going to have x cubed minus 5x squared plus 6x. And then I'll distribute the 4 to each part. Now, you can write this in different ways. What I like to do to organize my work is I'm going to put the 4x squared right below the x squared because I can basically organize my like terms. 4 times negative 5 gives me negative 20x. And lastly, 4 times 6 gives me positive 24. Now I can just add these all together. So I'm going to get x cubed minus x squared minus 14x plus 24 and that's an f of x don't forget now it is in standard form and how about just for fun what's the name of this bad boy it would be drum roll please a cubic because of my cube and there's one, two, three, four terms, so cubic polynomial, if we were going to classify this by degree and number of terms. Awesome. That was super cool. Here's another one. Again, we got our zeros, negative three, zero, and two. So when I write this, I'm going to have x plus three and zero, so that's like x x minus 0 or x plus 0, which really is just x. And I'm going to change this in a second here. And I have x minus 2 for the 2. So it crosses at negative 3, so we have to have x plus 3 for our factor, so on and so forth. So let's rewrite this real quick. It's going to be x. I like to put the x out in front. And then we have x plus 3, x minus 2. This is the factored form. But again, I need to first or I need to put it into standard form. So I'm going to FOIL two of them first. So let's FOIL these two right here. And I'm going to get x squared, and then I'll have negative 2x, positive 3x gives me x, minus 6, and then don't forget about this x right here. And now we'll distribute. Pew, pew, pew. I get x cubed plus x squared minus 6x. And that is actually my final in this one because I'm not multiplying in a binomial, I'm multiplying in a monomial. This guy's a monomial right here. It's a little less work this way, which is nice. So there we go. And just for fun, naming this one or classifying it by degree and number of terms would be a cubic trinomial because it has three terms. One, two, three terms. Highest degree is three, cubic trinomial. That was fun. Nice job, guys. You did great. I can feel it.